Hey guys, it's Jenny Silver. With the end of pandemic related unemployment benefits, I know that many of you are trying to reevaluate your cost of living. You're trying to figure out how you can save money, how you can maximize the earnings or the money that you do have to really get the most out of it. Well, I wanted to share with you a tool that I found very useful. For those of you that are looking to relocate to perhaps a a cheaper area of California that has a lower cost of living because we all know California cost of living is extremely high. I wanted to share with you this tool which compiles census data in terms of cost of living for each county. Now it not only will tell you the rental fees associated with each county and how much it actually costs to live there, but it also compiles for you other important costs such as childcare, food, transportation, taxes, and more. Now it's going to ask you to type in your household members and their ages. So once you type them in, you will see the household budget will change according to how many members are within your household. So I'm going to go ahead and run this for my own household. I have a three-year-old, a six-year-old, I'm 36, and Mike is 38. So I'm going to go ahead and add everyone in here. And you can see that this is currently set for Los Angeles County. So if our family was to live in Los Angeles County annually for a family of our size, we could anticipate an average cost of living of $95,112. This breaks down into a monthly $1,700 rent, childcare, $1,400, food, $1,000, healthcare, almost $900, transportation, $1,000, miscellaneous, $600, taxes, $1,100. Now, this is an estimate based on census data. I can tell you right here, our health care would be much higher than that based on the fact that I am self-employed and that my husband has pre-existing health conditions. But it gives us a general estimate of what to expect in these different areas, which oftentimes are very tricky to estimate when you move somewhere. Now, about two years ago, our family moved away from Santa Clara County due to the high cost of living. You can see here that in Santa Clara County, for our family, on average, we would need $120,000 to spend to be able to meet our cost of living there. Now, we moved to Sacramento County, so we're going to compare that $120,000 per year number to Sacramento County. $77,000 per year. That is a huge difference. That's over $50,000 in difference in cost of living. For those of you that are looking to relocate and you really are trying to cut your expenses and figure out how to live on less, this is obviously not the only thing to take into account. There are many factors that you will want to research, but I found this to be a very helpful tool if you are someone that is trying to figure out which areas of California may be more cost effective for you. For those of you that are interested in seeing exactly how they calculated out exactly what is needed as an estimate here in order to make ends meet, there's a full explanation of this that I have linked in the video description down below that goes through all of their methods, the data that they are using, as well as how they made these guesses. Okay, you guys, I hope that was helpful. Please click like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below.